that I had to come out of my rainy season before I can find my sunshine. And when you when you when you when it's rainy and you can't see past the rain and the tears of not knowing what's the issue and what's the intellectual disability because you didn't know you had one. And then the world was treating you different because you didn't understand yourself as well as the world didn't understand you. And when I found Special Olympics, I found my sunshine. And in order to find that sunshine, I had to find Mrs. Schreiber because she formed an organization that gave me my sunshine. This was called Special Olympics. And believe it or not, um, I met her in um, 2000 and we went to the World, World Games in, in Japan. Um, and it, it gave me it gave me life and it has um, gave me confidence. It has given me um, the world. And the biggest part for me was her life has spoken for her. And she has shown me when we was in interview in Japan and the people were interviewing her, if an athlete was standing there waiting to talk to her, she would stop the interview and say, no, excuse me, I need to talk to them. And, you know, they're more important, you know, y'all are important, but not more important than my, than my, my special Olympians. And she would, she would stop the interview and go and, and greet us and, and come to us and ask us, bring us into the interview. This is what we're here for. We're here for them. And she always put us first. She always put us in the forefront of everything she did because she believed in, in us and what what we were to her and to her who was her garden it was her flowers because she planted a seed a long time ago through her sister she, she saw a vision and she she became a visionary and she took that seed and made a garden and we are her flowers in her garden and we are blooming for the next generation and she have given us a voice to empower us to know that hey you are here and you can grow and through us she, only, she not only touched the world, she touched the universe. And we're here today because of how she touched us and her vision she had for her, as well as her sister and this organization. And her life is speaking to her, for her today. And the wonderful part about it, the struggle of living the oath before the oath came into existence. It said, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me brave an attempt. Like the, um, like the lady um, who wrote the book, Miss Travel was a champion. She was champion for people. Let me win. Let me be brave. Let me win. Cause I'm, I'm going to challenge these people. For whatever cause she went to, she, she challenged everyone and everything that came up. And she taught us how to do that. She taught us how to have vision, taught us how to how to grow. And the rain was good. Because the rain helps the flowers grow. And so in order to have sunshine, you have to have rain. And she taught us that. And it's okay to have rain as well as sunshine. And that's what she meant to me. And that's actually impacted my life.